Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we are Aris and Emily, a UK-based couple with a love of the outdoors. For just over a year, we have spent almost every weekend converting our Ford Transit into our ultimate adventure van. In this episode, our goal was to get the old girl all the way to the other side of England to the furthest point southwest, Land's End. But, did she make it? So, before we hit the road, we needed to get a few things. Food. Lots and lots of food. Oh, and fuel. She won't get very far without that now, will she? With food bought and a full tank, we were off. Until disaster struck. Absolute disaster. We're like 15 minutes into the journey, 20 minutes into the journey, and we have broken down on the motorway. No power to the van at all, no lights, nothing. Everything just shut down. We are causing a hell of a lot of traffic that I'm trying not to look at because there's nothing we can do. She's mostly off the road except the tail end of her. So far, it has been an absolute bloody disaster. And we booked time off for it, you know, we all packed up, we're ready to go. So I'm really hoping that this problem can be solved and we can just get on our way. But currently, stuck on the motorway. So we are now being towed away by highway maintenance. <laughs> For God's sake! So basically, now that we've just been towed away off the road, just to make sure we are safe and we're waiting for recovery to be recovered to the closest service stations but what's happened looks like our alternator is not charging and it, our battery is completely drained little update for you we have the van temporarily going two batteries hooked up one battery hooked up with jump leads to the other battery hoping that between the two, they have enough power to get us back to Euro car parts. We don't know how much battery's in them and obviously now we're driving there now not being charged. So we are just praying that we have got enough battery to get us back, which is another 23 minutes away. Then hopefully we're gonna get to Euro car parts before four o'clock. They're hopefully gonna have an alternator because that's the problem. And we're gonna just fix it and then hopefully carry on as if none of this ever happened. But we will see. We lifted the bonnet and the alternator was smoking, so that's not great. These things can't be helped. No, it is what it is. We're lucky in some senses that it happened here shortly into the journey rather than being all the way in Cornwall. So we've made our way back to the workshop. All in all, in fairness, we left at like half one, two, and it's now just gone four. So we'd made it about half an hour away from the workshop before the first breakdown happened. Highway maintenance took us off the road. And then we were supposed to be waiting for a recovery truck. But as soon as we came off the road, we knew that we weren't a priority anymore, which is fine. The priority is the safety of other traffic. So my uncle then was an absolute hero, brought his truck with a couple of extra batteries. We, we hooked up two batteries, started to work. We probably did about 20 minutes of the journey maybe and then all power went again so my uncle towed us back to the workshop and was managed to get to euro car parts about 10 minutes before it closed and i just spent 300 pounds <laughs> on a new alternator so he is now currently in the engine bay of the van trying to replace the alternator in the hopes that that is all it was i mean it was obvious that the alternator was dead but now i have a little bit of anxiety of driving like four and a half hours away knowing that this has happened and potentially might happen again especially if something's like short circuiting or oh, i don't really know i don't understand mechanics at all so skip to the time lapse of aramis fitting a new alternator so after just shy of an hour the new alternator was fitting and we hit the road again a long journey was ahead about four hours after we originally started our trip we are now back in the van everybody that helped us was so quick with helping us police they came really quickly highway maintenance weren't far behind the luxury of having a mechanic on board we have a new alternator a spare battery thanks to my uncle who rescued us from the side of the road when we were promised a recovery truck that never arrived yeah. i'm hoping now that we are just gonna make it the alternator should really have been repaired or swapped quite a long time ago. We knew there were issues with it, but it seemed to get us about okay. 
day previously so we just thought it was fine until today so there are lessons to be learned if there's something going wrong just fix it <laughs> just fix it because inevitably it's gonna stitch you up but we are now on the road and we're just gonna see how far we can get until we're tired and then we'll just find somewhere to park for the night and call it quits After nearly four hours of drive and all the drama that we had before, we arrived and you probably never guess where. We are in exactly the same park up for campus in New Forest. So because we left it so late and the plan was to today to travel to Cornwall, spend the night somewhere there. However, because of all the drama that happened before, we had to repair the van and blah blah blah. We only left five o'clock so we just started driving towards Cornwall and we were just expecting to find a park up somewhere on the way to Cornwall. It was getting late and then we realized we literally pretty much in a new forest why not we just come back to the same place that we know it's safe there's nothing to stress about so yeah we came back to the same park up. I think the plan is now that we're gonna quickly cook some dinner prep the bed and go to the bed because it was a long day. So what we got on today's menu? We have chicken teriyaki stir fry with egg noodles. And yes, I am cooking. I can go and relax. How are you feeling after all this drama? I feel okay now. I, there was a moment where I thought, do you know what, let's just give up because everything was going horribly wrong. But, but you can't give I'm up. I'm excited that we're here. We know this campsite and the owners are absolutely lovely and we've yeah. just caught the guy that takes the payment so I feel better for that. But I'm also excited to test out the bed. Yeah, so that's going to be the first time we're actually sleeping on this new mattress. Fingers crossed, so everything's going to be alright. I'm sure We have a good fine. night of sleep. See how I'm it's just going to put it out there. All of this has got to go in there. We said we didn't need another pan but I think um, we could have done with another pan. could have just put it in the saucepan. It's actually very cosy in here. It's so much better than last time when we had literally just air beds and God knows what else. It feels cosy. I'm comfy. We'll see you in the morning. So good morning. Good morning. We survived the night nearly nine o'clock, so we had a quite long lay in. I was up at seven. I almost didn't want to get up. I was like, hey, it's time to get up. I want a cup of coffee. It was a long day yesterday. Emily going to start cooking some breakfast, have a coffee, and I will see what's the plan for today. <laughs> First stop's gonna be a waterfall that goes straight into the sea on the beach. It's not straight I've into never the sea. Seen a waterfall the sea. Yeah. So if we thought we still have some time before we need to check in in our Airbnb, which is sick. Thought we're gonna stop at that uh, waterfall, check it out, and we still got two and a half hours to drive there. We check that waterfall, and then I think we're gonna have another hour, maybe an hour and a half, to the actual Airbnb. What's this place called? Saint... Saint... Um, Saint Audrey's Bay Saint Waterfall. Audrey's. We're currently going down a very sort of steepish hill. I've got dungarees and walking boots on. <laughs> you look like a farmer. <laughs> That's the vibe I want. <laughs> yeah, it took us maybe way longer than I was expecting. <sighs> yeah, traffic was fine, but the roads aren't one of those roads where you can just... And we just found out our Airbnb that we thought was only about an hour away is actually two hours away. So we're not going to stay here long. Yeah. So we want to make the most of our visit. Okay. So 
So we've come to this beach where the waterfall is, but I thoroughly enjoy looking for weird stones and this beach has loads of them. Look at this one. So that was one of our first finds. It was quite a long time since we went to some sort of a new place. We always, I've never been here before. Yeah. So finally it's very amazing how, how many pretty stones like there is on a beach. You don't get stones like this at home. They're literally all pink and purple and beautiful. However, I did, whilst digging around in the little stones here, pick up a piece of bird poo thinking it might have been a nice stone. I swiftly realised it was not a nice stone and it was in fact bird shit. But unfortunately we can't stay here for too long because we've got two hours to drive again. I've only just driven two hours. But I think it was a nice break yeah, to break nice those. Fresh air. Yeah. I think we need to get back and hit the road and get to our Airbnb. We're going to see you at the Airbnb. Yeah. So join us on the next episode where we travel to a very unique Airbnb and continue our journey to reach Land's End. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our upcoming uploads. See you next week. Bye.